Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. I know I am. If this is your first time here, hi. My name is Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over 100k in credit cards, car loans, and student loans. If you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back and I'm so glad you could join me. So today, I am going to be doing my paycheck two for the month of August. And there was some some surprises with the income part that I forgot about. So, hope you guys enjoy this. So, my paycheck that I actually got paid out was $1,104.41. And then I did have some rollover money from the previous paycheck, which was 89 32 and then I had buy me a coffee from Jacqueline which was 26.64 and then I also had I had totally forgotten that I got a bonus because not a bonus I guess it, yeah we called it an anniversary, an anniversary bonus every year you get $25 so I reached my six years, so I got $25. Plus, I got $10 from from um, that, some leftover money that I can't really remember where it came from. So I'm going to add that in as 35 So I got quite a bit of money, which is surprising. I wasn't expecting anything, so... If we add that up, it's 1104.41 plus 89.32 plus 26.64 plus 35 equals 1,255 dollars and 37 cents. Okay, so that is the income we are working with for this paycheck. So let me zoom you in. All right. So we have the rent, which I split up and I'll be putting 150 towards the rent. For Amazon, I did buy something. So I'm putting $40. I believe it was like 39 and change. So I just rounded up to 30, have a little bit of an overage. And then I had my car, which was 308. And then I also had my Verizon, which because of taxes went up slightly. To 86.54. Just love how tax likes to change every time there's a... Uh, I'm not gonna get into that. So that is what I have here. We have 150 plus 40 plus 308 plus 86.54 came out to be 584.54. Then if I take that from my income, 1255.37 minus 584.54 comes out to be left over 670.83. Okay. And I'm going to bring that down. All right. Then we have groceries. Which we, if you've been here for any length of time, you know the cash envelopes. It's 100 for groceries, 40 for gas. Personal is 50, as well as food. But you know me, I like to go over, so that's why I keep a cushion. Just in case, because of that. So, we have... 240 as a total we'll subtract the 240 and it comes out to be 
430.83. Okay. And I had planned to put money into the sinking funds, but if you guys watched my previous video, you saw that I used that money for my randomizer challenge stuffing. So that's it. <laughs> All right. So to these, we have the extra debt, which I did put $20 in my extra debt last time. Um, I going to bring it down here for 30 83 I'm going to put an extra $20 towards my car not a lot but better than nothing I looked at my new balance after I paid the um, car it's getting so close. It's getting closer and closer every time I pay to 5000 Wish me luck. I really want to get it done. I wouldn't want to get it to 5000 by the end of the year. So, or even lower. That would be great too. So, let's see. That would be 41083 $20 here there always adds up. So, Oh, put it in the wrong place. Thankfully, I got a erasable pen. I forgot who mentioned this, but thank you. In my comments, I love my erasable pen. I didn't know they came out. They had erasable pens, so I have heard of erasable highlighters, which is still a surprise to me, but erasable pen, perfect. All right. So for savings, I'm gonna bring down the 410. So for the ally, I'm gonna put the 35, the 10 plus the anniversary bonus into ally. That's kind of like my reserved emergency fund. So I just wanna keep putting some money in there. This is just, this savings is just like a, if I don't have enough money kind of savings where I can take money out of that, if that makes sense. With Ally, I love Ally. They just went up to 1.75% interest on their savings accounts. So I'm thinking of just, um, I'm thinking of putting placeholders and taking money out of my challenges to put into the Ally savings. That way, you know, I can accrue some more interest. All right. Regular savings is going to be 10. Okay. So I'm going to take out 100. As you guys know from my challenge, I took out 100 plus 175. 75. Plus I had 60. Plus the 26, 64 from buy me a coffee. So that comes out to be 261.64. So if we add that up, that comes out to be $306 and 64 cents. Minus four ten eighty three. So it's left over one oh four nineteen. I put a quite a bit of money towards savings in some form, whether it's my regular savings, my ally savings, or even my challenge savings. Plus I'm putting a little bit of money towards debt. I know you probably prefer me to put a little bit more, but honestly. If all else fails, I can always take my money from my save. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I don't know what I was about to say, but this baby's coming down and I'm super excited about the car. So this is of course gonna be my cushion. Hopefully I have some leftovers so I can put it towards my debt. Wish me luck on that. <laughs> 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's not a long one. I try not to make it too long because usually there's a lot of talking in this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more, if you'd like to join my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love it. Um, next time I'm going to put some money towards my sinking funds. And I believe September is a three paycheck month, so I should be able to put money in sinking funds as well as challenges and even my emergency funds. So, or even more towards my car. So, wish me luck on that. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!